Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Nick Charles. I said it must be jelly because the jam doesn't shake. Well, unless you shake it really hard. Oh, um, hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. I'm here once again with Nick Charles. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm fair to middling. Fair to middling. Good. So what have you got for us this week, Nick? This week, I'm talking about someone who is on the wrong side of Madonna before looking at iconic people in Crafty Queens. Mm. And we've even got a game you can play along with as well. On screen now, you can see all of our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV. Amazing. And as people who have popped up in our comments go along the bottom of the screen, it's time for Mike in the Buzz. <laughs> The phrase, you know, no one will pay to be a stripper, mm -hmm. right, has usually been me, to me, a lot. Right. Right. Um, normally then, put your clothes back on. But the UK's <laughs> oldest stripper is a gentleman called Mike, right? Uh -huh. He's 55. Okay. And he's been doing it for 38 years. Oh, wow. Okay. And let me just say to you, he's a bit dilfy. There he is. Mm. So, yeah, he, he's a bit dilfy. Um, definitely got dad bod going on. He shares the weirdest jobs, including 20, 20, 20. All right, so yeah. I have a feeling he has a big dick. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. Because I just know um, he's 58, mm -hmm. 55. 55. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has a big dick. And I, I don't mind. I, yeah. I, I, I kick on the bed. He, I don't know. He just, he, just give me, he just gives me that old man who goes to yoga in the morning. And it, I'm kind of into it. I'm, I'm not angry at it. But also, a dad bod is the in thing now. So, mm -hmm, 100%. It. Yeah, I'm just waiting for mine to kick in. Um, but stripping at a funeral is kind of weird, though. So, it's actually someone's request that he wants to full Monty as the coffin went oh my in a cremation. God. So, as it's going down, he's saying, nah, 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 nah. Oh, God. Baggling it about. Um, he's also had to get a tetanus shot after someone bit him on the bum so hard they drew blood. Oh, my God. Right? And he's stripped for the math here. <laughs> The Mafia. The Russian Mafia. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, who's got the biggest weapon here? Oh, my <laughs> God. I mean, I'm insane, though. I think, I think, I think with... Uh, a defo is making... If, if, if he's making money and he's doing it to the entertainment of others, why not? It's, it's, exactly. It, it's just make sure I'm paying taxes. Exactly. And he's turned around and said he's not going to stop. Good. Right. He's enjoying it. Um, he's still doing it after yeah. 38 years. So he's been doing it since 19... 80-something? Yeah, I wasn't even born yet. All right. Some of us were. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything. You know, people, you know. Um, moving on. Mm -hmm. Weirdest place you've ever eaten something? Hmm. It depends what kind of... If it's, if it, is it, a, is it a something consumable or not? Well, you have to eat. Everything's consumable if you eat it. Mm, where's the first thing? I think the weirdest I've ever had some to eat was... In a bathroom. Okay. As in, in someone's home or like in the public? In, no, I, so I was on a ship. I was on a cruise. I was on a cruise ship working a couple of years ago. And the, um, they were, um, the cleaners were like cleaning everywhere. I was nowhere, nowhere else to eat. So I just, I just literally sit in the bathroom and eat on the floor. That's a little bit sad. Yeah, a little bit sad. That's well, a little bit sad. Oh, well. It that, could be worse. I'm sure there's something worse out there. Well, possibly. Um, if you went to India, mm -hmm. right, you could eat amongst gravestones. I'm good. Mm -mm. No, no, big no. They're, they're not, like, not not fresh, so they're, they're not still warm in there. It's old graves. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a gentleman that uh, bought the land to build the restaurant. Right, didn't know that there were graves in there, um, wow. and so basically went, okay, so we'll, we'll just put fences around them, give them a bit of a clean. It's actually considered really good luck. Wow, to eat around dead bodies. So that's why people are quite happy that they're just chowing down while. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I physically don't think I could deal with it. I don't, know, I, I, I don't know. I think the, just the dead on a whole scare me. I know they're dead, but... <laughs> it's like they can't jump out at you. I know, well, but I think, I think the idea like of it scares out. me. I don't know. I just feel Maybe there's good luck for them, but I feel like for me it's just very worrying. Yeah, I mean, they take good care of the coffins. So they make sure they get cleaned every day. They put oh. fresh flowers on. You don't want to eat near a dirty coffin. I know, but still, just the idea of it is so weird. Yeah, mm. but, I mean, that one's quite clearly a small person. <laughs> Other ones, 
quite large. That one's quite small. Mm, it's too close for my liking. <laughs> well, oh, it's on screen. But why, are the, <laughs> why are the covens so small? Maybe they... And wait, what kind of graveyard Maybe... is this? Because uh, it and usually coffins under the under the. the so this the is the ground? thing. So you can get ones that are above. So in in, in caskets. And yes. And uh, sarcophaguses. Yeah. So if you go to like the Vatican in Rome, they've got all these people and they're above ground in, yeah. in boxes and. Yeah. So that's all that is. Oh wow. So yeah. There are little holes as well. Huh? There are little holes as well in the grave. In the, in the, in no, that's a rose. A rose? That's the one leaving a little flower oh, on the top. Oh, oh, oh. It's not a hole. Oh, well, so they can't wave well, out a finger. Yeah. I'd like a sandwich. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Mm, I don't know. It just scares me. The idea of it just really, really, really scares me. I don't know why. It Where? could be worse. It could be worse. They could just sort of like wake up. They could sell brains. Oh, oh God! Definitely that'd work. Um, but if you want to lie down naked, no, sorry, dead, <laughs> um, and eat, <laughs> why not drop us a follow at the Cud TV? <laughs> and that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, mm -hmm. Freddie Mercury, yes, right, legend, mm -hmm. icon, no longer mm -hmm. with us. Yes. Right? Some would say hero and pioneer. Mm -hmm. um, are you a fan? Yes. How I, big of a fan? Um, I feel like I've grown up with the music of Queen and, you know, Freddie being, like, a, a big impact in, like, gay culture for a mm -hmm. long time. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a super fan, but I do listen to Queen to make me feel good. Yeah. I remember him dying. Not I was there. I remember it in yeah. the news that he died and stuff. Um, and people talking about AIDS. And that was my first real recollection of yeah. AIDS and HIV. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was quite big. Um, but a, a lady has found... Mm. Um, well, then... A lady called Nancy Detrana. Detrana? Detrana has found, a, shall we say, a little silhouette of a man uh, in a spoon that she believes looks like Freddie Mercury. Oh, wow. Can we have a look? She, there it is. What is this? There he is. Just, he's just doing his little Wembley pose. <laughs> so his, um, her daughter came running out of the bathroom. Uh, out the bathroom, out the kitchen, as she was unloading the dishwasher to say, I found a spoon with Freddy on. I found a spoon with Freddy on. <laughs> um, they gave it a bit of a clean and a polish just to see if it was just dirt, and it is still just there on the oh, spoon. Wow. So we've, got, we've actually got a close-up of this. So there it is, see? He's got his little legs. Oh. His little legs. And he's there pointing and... Dale. <laughs> hey, hey, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's cute though. It is cute. I mean, it definitely looks like the right pose. It's, yeah, it does look. Like, but uh, it also it also looks like me coming home drunk, trying to get oh, leg, trying to, legs of Kimber. Yeah, okay. yeah, me trying to open the front door of my Uber, <laughs> very much with no panties on as well. I can believe that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, what me with old panties on? Yeah, <laughs> Mike, we're sisters. Didn't say I was wrong, though, did you? Ah, not there. <laughs> Stop touching yourself in front of people. It's, it's on live, national TV. Anyway. I'm not touching myself. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Might have a small extra hand in there. If I, if I could do that, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> not this. <laughs> have you ever found a celebrity in your cutlery? No, no, no. I did see an elephant once in the clouds, but that's about it. I did see my, I did see my ex once in a trash bag. You saw your ex in a trash bag. Mm -hmm. Um, can I get a bodyguard, please? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get an ex in a body a bodyguard? A bag? trash bag. Trash ba Why? Because he's trash. Oh right, okay. I thought you'd like. No. Him or no, something. I didn't. No, I didn't. Me? I'm not a killer. I'm too pretty for prison. <laughs> can you see me on a prison? <laughs> laughter in here. Can you see? Can you see me on a prison? On a prison? A prison. I, I can. I can see you in prison. Mm. I think you'd enjoy yourself, <laughs> but, I, but I don't think they, I don't think they use I don't think they use soap in prison. I think they use shower gel. Okay. So what? How do I exercise my God-given rights? My God-given rights. If, if I can't drop the soap because the shower is in shower gel, just they don't say yeah. Let's have a go. Mm. Yeah, but I can't do show anything in there. Yeah, you can. With what? A water bottle. Just don't eat, eat is cheating anyway. Um, but that's all, from, that's all from the buzz this week. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mike. I absolutely love you talking about everything, including finding spoons of Freddie Mercury, which is absolutely lovely. Cool. Um, coming up after this short break, it's Nick and the showbiz.
You're watching Chewing the Cud with Nick and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're getting into some showbiz news this week, and we're mm -hmm. talking about icons, queer icons, at oh. Coachella. Okay. Yes. I always get confused, and it takes a moment for my brain to go from Coachella to Cochineal, <laughs> which is a food glory. <laughs> um, it takes me a moment. I'm that person. What is Coachella? So, Coachella is a festival out in America. It's kind, of, it's kind of like their version of, like, the festival, basically. Oh, okay. And it's really fun. It's like loads of loads of really big artists and stuff. It's like it's like one of the I think it's so it's done in it's done in different versions. So you have one weekend in one part, mm -hmm. and then the next weekend they have somewhere else. So it's like the same festival as just two different places. Like right. how we have Leeds, Leeds and Reading, uh -huh. same lineup, just different places. Okay. So Coachella is like that, but it goes over three days. It's really really fun in America. I've never been, but I've been dying to go. Mm -hmm. But. Um, of course, we have big, big names like headlining this year. We have Lana Del Rey, Doja Cat, No Doubt, and we have, of course, you know. Now, Doja Cat, I can get behind. Mm -hmm. However, I know this is my song very problematic, and the queer community might come for me. I'm just going to say it. I just don't see the joy in Lana Del Rey. Okay. She might, you know, she reminds me of a rake. <laughs> a rake. Useless in a storm. Uh, okay. I just I just don't like all her songs are very quiet and and like it's all about a man she's singing that she left and it's like oh god we've seen this before. Is she not the one that told people to put the records on? That too. No, that's Cor that's Corin really B. Okay. Go put yeah. your records. No, on. Lana Del Rey sings about summertime sadness and like. Oh, I like summertime sadness. Yeah, that's the only song that that's nice. Summertime. You have blue jeans. I have got blue jeans, yeah. And then, yeah, she has a few songs. But, I mean, if, she, if, if, the, if the girls want Lana Red, that's what they're going to get. Mm -hmm. she is. But, of course, um, No Doubt, which I absolutely love. If you know No Doubt from the day of Gwen Stefani. I, I'm, I'm amazing, aware. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 1996, um, Don't Speak. Oh, wow. Yes, there you go. And that song called Bad Water, that's also a great banger. I know we love a bit of bath water these days. In your old bath water, you see. Very much. Yeah, so I'm very looking forward to see what happens. I think Coachella is the one year that when you see videos from it mm -hmm. online, we just, people just love it. And you know, the lineup is good. You have like people like Peso Plumber, Justice, Blur, Deftones, Blur, Blur. Ice Spice. Sublime, Dom Dollar, Bleachers, Grimes, uh, DJ Snake. Who else is there? Follow more. Jockstrap. Right. Is that a, an artist? I don't know. Or is that someone just putting their old scruddies on the table? Is it a collective? Do they do? Did they go and dance with Jockstrap? I mean, the great thing about this as well is, we're, like, even though they're not in big names, we have like our own very own UK artists over there going across. We have mm -hmm. Barry Kansum, who's from Blackpool. We have Ray from London. Purple Disco Machine. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cross scream. A lot of big artists from the UK that go mm -hmm. across at the place. So it's going to be fun. And it's April, which is usually nice. Um, so it's going to be lovely in America. They just have a nice, nice time. Good, lovely. So yeah, so that's going to be fun. So moving on. In yeah. other news, we have um, Madonna calling out Andy Cohen at a concert recently. Why? Now I, I'm going to say this. I think. I think she. I think Madonna is right in doing what she does when she when it comes to this because Andy Cohen, mm -hmm. like most gay men, have opinions about stuff. However, the problem with Andy Cohen is his his the things he 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 could be he tries to be very like problematic, but in hindsight, I don't think he's just rude. Okay, that's the problem. I feel like his execution of things he tried to say is a bit rude. So he tried to like, he literally tried to tell Madonna, he talked about shit, but, but ooh, talk about crap about Madonna for a very long time. And um, it was good that she was at her concert mm -hmm. and she called him out. She's like, Andy, you're, you know, you're, you're wrong for what you've done. And at first I was like, is it the joke? Is it not? But then I think she's being very serious. I know I don't give her wrong. If someone is being nasty to you, and you, it's, it's, an, it's the person in front of you at your own concert, call them out. Call them out. removed. Yeah, I'd stop the concert. Go, that person needs to leave. Yeah, 
that too. But I feel like Andy, Co like I get it. I get it. He wants to, you know, he runs in the, the empire of E with like all the the, the housewife stuff, mm -hmm. which is great. But he does, he does, he 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 feel, for me, he feels like our current generation of Perez Hilton sometimes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, not a fan of Perez Hilton. No, no one so. is. No one is. But yeah, good for good for good old Marge for good old good old Skeletor. Good, good old, oh, um, not Skeletor. <laughs> What? Put some put some power to that woman's name. She looks good. She has a young boyfriend as well. Mm -hmm. And where I'm still single. If you had Madonna's money, you could have a young boyfriend too. But I don't. You don't, so you don't. <laughs> um, see, I have a lot of respect for Madonna for mm. like her political stuff. So like in the concert, yeah. she's doing a lot of um, HIV and AIDS awareness mm -hmm. still. I'm sort of like talking about these people who died and... People have touched her life, yeah. really into that. But also, I just think, all right, Madge, get over it. Yeah, but she's, she's making money. She, she's making a lot of money I mean, those tickets. I mean, a lot of money off I mean, those tickets. The gays have Madonna, the straights have Ed Sheeran. Who do you choose? Do, am I paying for the tickets? No. Then I'd watch Madonna. Exactly. But if I'm paying for the tickets, I'm watching Ed Sheeran. Oh, my God. You were one of, one of those... You're a secret Ed Sheeran fan. Not, not a fan, it's just I have to watch one of them. I'm not going to pay a fortune to watch Madonna. Yeah, but who would you vibe more with? But I can't afford to see Madonna. That's true. She is very expensive now, to be fair. Like, oh, do you have £700? No. Well, you can't sit in the concert. Oh, uh, well, you know. Well, good I'm just waiting for her to do Manchester so I can hang outside the, the arena and just listen to her do it. Did she do Manchester? She not done it yet. I'm not sure. Oh. I, I, I don't... I'll wait. She'll do it eventually. She will. She will. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be money there for us. So. Uh, moving on in less Madge, Madge Vag stories. Um, Troy Savan was recently made um, Man of the Year on um, a magazine. Nice. How he said, however, he has said that he is embracing his femininity as a man. Nice. Which is... He is a very good looking young guy. I will tell you this for free. I personally think that Troy Savan is a very good looking twink. Mm -hmm. Um, I think in about ten years' time he's going to look amazing. Do like you know he's fresh. he's he's not he's not actually the twink age at the minute. No, I no. think he's quite older, but I think like, but I mean, yeah. You know, he reminds me of that, was it? Remember that video where that guy's in the box and he's naked. Adam Rickett. Yes. Breathe again. That is what this shot is giving me. Nineteen ninety four, ninety yeah. five. I, 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 again, I wasn't in the UK, then, but I remember, I remember the video briefly. But mm -hmm. this, this, this look is very much like Westlife, Adam Rickett kind of vibe. He's very much giving me um, Nathan from Queer Folk. Yes, 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 yes. But I mean, I think like I think it's good for him for saying, you know, I'm embracing his, his femininity because like um, recently um, Kim K was named, she was made Woman of the Year on mm -hmm. a men's magazine. Yep. So for him to like, you know, embrace it and stuff, I think, I think it's not, I think, I think each, I think all men have a femininity side. I, I think, well, I think they all do. I think some of us don't embrace it or some got, some, some of us get called Paul Bottoms for it. But or I'm, get scared I'm proud. <laughs> Mike. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm not a power bottom. It's a messy bottom. Not even messy. Oh, you're clean. Your clean bottom. Yeah. Oh. I drink water and eat ice cubes. Oh, <laughs> do you really? I also eat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into that. What do you um, think about Troy? What do you? You think? see, I I enjoy his music and I enjoy his, his stances. Just sometimes I think he's a little bit. Sometimes his messages miss me. Okay. Right. So his most recent one where he's talking about not being one of the girls mm. and he dresses up in drag basically and I'm there going is he fetishizing the trans community it just doesn't quite sit well mm -hmm. I mean I know what he's trying to say and, yeah, yeah. and we've all been there with straight guys Yeah. Um, but it's that so something just always hits me a little bit off um, yeah. like in Rush I love the song Yeah. right but the music video is very bros bro and I'm just like yeah. it's just hitting me a little bit wrong Yeah. because um, I know it's a music video but there's like the body types are all very similar Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I just think that there could be ways that I think 
if it was made a little bit better, yeah, I wouldn't have that problem. Yeah, yeah, I get that. So. But I also I also keep in mind that sometimes when it comes to productions like these, it's more the team behind them mm -hmm. and not just them as an artist. Because I feel like as an artist myself, sometimes you don't have that independent direction. So mm -hmm. it might be the people around them just not hitting the ball. Because he might have a big, broader idea, mm -hmm. and they're just like, no, maybe this should work. So I think they need to have some kind of like balance when it comes to it. Because I could see, I could see his message as well, but I can mm -hmm. also see um, from different standpoint how it might be construed in a different way. So that's what I think he has those to do. But it's nice to see queer representation on the mainstream media, which 100%. is very important. Um, I think we, I think we have fought for that for a very long time. So to see people like Troy and other people on the front line on magazines that. Uh, for everybody, it's very, very mm -hmm. good. So we wish you all the best in 2024. We and did. if you need someone, I'm free on a Thursday night between the hours of five to six. I'm free for you, Troy Svan. If you'd like to come over, I am free on a Thursday night from eight. And that's that. You're giving him a very specific window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I still need to make money. I still need to make money. So, you know, I gotta be I've got to be busy. I'm a DJ. <laughs> and that's a showbiz news. Showbiz news. <laughs> Desperate attempt to bench Troy Choice of that. It's yeah, the same thing. Um, well, stick around because coming up next we have our game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week we're going to be playing Ooza Kazoo, and this one is for our favourite Charles, Nick Charles. So off you pop. Ah, oh, fine if I must. <laughs> Game of the week. So Nick's got a kazoo that he's just learned how to play. Um, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> have you got a song for us, Nick? Uh, I do have a song for us. I do okay. have a song for us. Go on, play it. Let me try and work out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> It's that. Is it, is it that, that song by Thingy with the thing? Do, 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 That one. Uh, I'll play it again. Okay. It's Tyler Water. Tyler. Make me water. sway. Make, make me high. Oh, okay. Make me bloom. I, I had I had that um oh. I love dance. Ne, 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 oh. ne, 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 ne. In my head. Can we play another one for you? Let's see. Yeah, do another one. Did okay, let's see. Um By Madonna. Oh, right, okay. Every little thing that you say or do, I'm, I'm hung up I'm while hung I'm trying to. Oh. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can think of another one. Okay. Okay, I'll go with this. Rachel could never. <laughs> Rachel Riley could never. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Every time I think of Rachel Riley, I just get that um, bit of Sean Locke when she's there wearing a ski helmet and um, with horns on and a fake beard. And Sean Locke looks at her and goes, Well, that's a difficult wank. <laughs> Every time I think of Rachel Riley, that's what I think of. 
Terrible behaviour from you. Terrible. What? It's what he said. It's funny. It's good. It's um, good. Not the countdown thing. No. Put your hands up for Detroit. No. Okay. No idea. It's actually my own song coming up in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, so it's not. It's not even one that's out yet. What's no. it called? No. I have a song called Deep in Your Desire that's coming out soon. Okay. Oh, where, where can you get that? Uh, it's on streaming platforms everywhere right now. Oh, okie dokie. Ooh. I shall go and give that a bop listen yes, later. Yes, 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 yes. Have you got another one? Uh, yeah, I do. Not that one. I played one last time. Okay. I'll play the, I'll play the chorus. Okay. Oh, it's what's its face? I will try to fix you. Oh. No. It was Cole. It was not Coldplay. <laughs> it was Gautier, somebody that I used to know. Ah. Uh, you didn't mean to cut you off. It was all yellow. No, that's Coldplay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are musically inclined. Or declined, which one? <laughs> not going to answer that question. It might incriminate me. Um, can you do another one? Hmm. Whichever you go for, let me think. 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 Funky No. <laughs> Close, but it's actually a track Doctor Barbara Streisand. Oh, no, no, no. Barbara Streisand. Okay. <laughs> That's a song choice. That is a song choice. You asked for a song. I did. You're right. I asked for a couple. Wow. Yeah. Come on. And failed at each one. Not failed. Just, I'm just. I didn't get what you... Maybe it's a you thing. Maybe maybe, maybe you need to open your ears. Maybe my ears are open, you're just not very good at it. Maybe he has blocked coming in. Maybe you have no kazoo ability. Oh! Maybe I died because of you giving me crap. <laughs> Do another song. Fine. I'll you're do well one more time. if you get us right. <laughs> Now, what it sounds like may not be the song you're going for. Okay. Because it was just the head dancing that you did gave it away. Is it Rihanna talking about a nana? It is. It is Rihanna. Oh, nana. nana. What's my name? Oh, nana. It is what? Uh, I know, I'm very proud. Yeah. One out of five. Things we love to see. Yeah. Let's <laughs> get one there, eventually. Well done, Mike. I'm very proud of you. Come, let's do another one. Let's, let's see if we can get on a roll. Okay. One more. One more. No, we've got plenty more. We've got three minutes to fill. Let's see. Um. Come on then. 
It's I could do by black lace. Who? I could do by black lace. Who the f is I could do by? I could do, do, do. Push pineapple, shake the tree. No. I could do, do, do. What? No, it's not, it's not it's even close. Are you sure? Yeah. It was Triller by Michael Jackson. That's close to I could do. No, it's not. It's They're two very different similar genres of songs. Music. They're very similar songs. Oh my god, you, you, you. Oh my god. Ah. They're, 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 you know, they're both internationally world-renowned artists. Okay. Well, let me play one more, see if you get this one. Okay, let's try another one. Cotton Eye Joe by the Rednecks. If I'm been for Cotton Eye Joe, I've been married. No, I'll play it again for you. Okay. Do the start bit again. Which one? The start of the song. The... <laughs> Rosie and Jim, <laughs> chugging along on the old rack. I mean, Rosie and Jim. What? That's a good, that's a good, that's a good, a good, a good shout. But it's actually... Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. You know... So go, 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 go. I'll get over. You drive, drive me crazy, crazy off the wall. wall. Goodbye, Mr. Know-it-all. So the Alex Baxter. Yeah, Seb. Oh. Okay, I'll give you one more. You must know this one. Okay, I'll try this next one. One more for the road. Let's see. Well, two more. Or two. Hmm, let me see. Um. Imagine. Look. Oh, hold on, 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 hold on. You just failed the kazoo there. I just failed the kazoo, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me think. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it's not good. I hope it's not good. Oh. I'm going to hum something you might know. Hold on, let me see. What is it? I could do. No. It's Ariana Grande. Yes, oh. and. Oh, yes. I would never have got that. And it's her new song. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, stick around, because while I go and get in the face, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So yeah, um, while I get a re-education on music from Nick, who can't play for the zoo, um, stick around because we are coming up next with Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to go over to Nick because he does more Crafty Queens for us. Yay. Right, so this week we are just gonna make something look cute. We got a little picture frame over here. Okay. All of these picture frames are queer icons. Oh. Or LGBTQ plus icons. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what the picture of the minutes it looks, so all I need to do is I need to. We're just gonna decorate it. We're gonna decorate it. Hope for the best. Okie dokes. So, so I've got to think iconic. Off your part. Decorations. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's see what happens here. So who are some of your LGBTQ plus? Um, Marsha, Troy Savan, Honey Dijon, huh? um, Billy Porter. Love Billy Porter. Um, who else is there? Um, this, I think. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if they're like a queer icon, but huh? I did grow up like loving Beth Milder. Beth Milder. I like. I think that she, I'd like to think she's a she's a queer icon. She's definitely our ally. Yeah. Your an ally. Yeah. Love her. Cool. I decided I'm instantly going to go with sort of a headdress kind of approach. No. Oh. Lots of feathers. A headdress? Nice like, a, nice. like a feathery headdressy kind of thing. Nice, 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 nice. Um, me like, me like. Yeah. I mean, I'd def Alan Turing as well. Oh, iconic. 
Legendary. Legendary. Mother of the house. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Not on this show. Obviously. We'd never given that woman any credit. Uh-uh. You see, I, I think we should give Margaret Thatcher credit because she is the current model for the Conservative government that we've got now. <laughs> Oh, God. Car crash that it is. Car crash. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um, who else? Who else I think is a, is a queer icon? Um, uh, I, 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 I could have said um, Todrick Hall, but I just feel like he's too problematic for my liking. Yeah, I, I've heard problematic things. What? Yeah. Like my penis dancers and all that stuff. It, mm -hmm. It's very... Very, it's very un, uncalled for. It's, it's not a great look, to be fair. No, it is not, it is not at all. Nope. Um, I'm just, ah, ah, no! Oh no. Not the glue gun burn. I need an adult. You have a owie. You've been, a, you've, been, you've been a crafty queen for a long time. I'm not a crafty queen. You're burning yourself. What's going on here? I am burning myself, because that's just, all right, that's fun. <laughs> um, what was I going to say before I tried to set myself on fire? Do we know? Anybody have a clue? You were talking about your crafting boat. Um, yeah, icons. Oh yeah, icons. Um, You're talking about Todrick. Kim or? Petrus. Tim, Kim, Kim Petrus, yeah. Petrus, definitely iconic. Um, um, Sam Smith, go. Oh, oh. Love them. Love them. Love them so much. I mean, we're really lucky in the LGBT community because we do have so many good role models, especially singers yeah. and musical artists. Yeah, it's a win. It's a massive win. Definitely a win. Um, Fred, Freddie Mercury. Oh, love our Freddie, we do. George Michael. Oh, Boy George? Nope. <laughs> that icon? Not an icon. Oh. Um, he had a massive re tirade on X, oh. on Twitter, um, talking about people's um, gender oh, okay. and people's chosen pronouns. Oh. And he had a moment, and I'm there going, actually, you called yourself Boy George. You got your basically gender right in the middle of your name, love. Yeah. That's <laughs> not even your actual name. So back off. Yeah. What are we doing? He's what? What? What did you call him then? What? What? Wit? <laughs> I thought you said that, yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself over there with your glue gun? I am. I'm loving life. Are you having moments? I'm loving life. Okay. Oh, ah! See, it's hot, isn't it? Oh, I just spoiled myself. Guess that from the screech. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that was a pleasurable moment for you. No, but it was all right. No one died. No one, that's good. Do you, are you often found crafting or do you avoid crafts? Uh, I don't really do it as much as I used to when I was a child, but I feel like... Do you say this is childish? No, but I feel like it's been a while since I've done something like this. Okay, yeah, so, I get that. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. It's been a hot minute. Says with a hot glue gun. <laughs> Dangerously close to his fingers. Uh -oh. So, Lee normally does the crafty queens. Yes. Because he enjoys crafts. He, in fact, has a trolley that he's called Trolley Parton that's filled with craft stuff. Really? Yeah. Iconic behaviour. We do worry about him quite often. <laughs> Iconic behaviour. <laughs> we can often concerned. So in uh, Uzo Kadu, you're talking about you have music out. Yes. What's the name of your track? Uh, it's called Deep in Your Desire. Okay. And what's it about? Uh, it's just about it's about falling or something, falling for something you can't have, and just wanting it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's fun. Okay, and and it's out on all musical platforms right now. Yes, it is. That's good. Do you have any other musics in the work? Uh, we have an album coming out later in the year. Oh, album. I know, the album. But it's 
not, it's not been, it's not, it's, it's still have a few bits and pieces to do, but. Still doing bits. Yeah. I think my crafty green has absolutely smashed it this time around. Uh, oh. I think she looks stunning. Oh. Don't we not think so? I, I think there's definitely, definitely something that happened there. I think this is stunning. Oh. That is a massive improvement, I must say. Last time, yeah, yeah. She has come full circle this time. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes a change to makes how change. normally you come. Um, I'm, just, I'm just finishing off with a little row of little jemmy things. And then I'll be done too. Nice. I, did, I didn't want to leave an unfinished bottom. Mm. Do I get to open unravel it in a minute? I think what we'll do is once I've finished, yeah. I think we can get you to come back over here and we will unravel together. Oh wow. To work out who whose icons we have. Lovely. Yeah, let's share a bit more here. One there. One there. Oh. I don't want to say the word bollocks for dropping that one. Star there. Right, okay. I think I'm done. Good. Right. Well, we, we, we will be revealing very soon who's won the Crafty Queen. But in the meantime, if you can't get any peen or any vizine, you could always eat a Crafty Queen. So yeah, we, we've we've done well. We've done well. Yeah, yeah. We've done very well. So you will pick yours up. Right. Do, do, do. Ah. Ooh, look at those crafty queens. I've just noticed something. Well, turn yours round. Might turn it round. Turn it round. Let's see the back side of it. Upside down. Ah, oh, well, she's, she's still pretty though, but she has a little tail. Uh huh. It's, but it's cute. upside down. Listen, she's giving. Okay. She's giving. So who's going to reveal that icon first? Uh, I'll go first. Okay, I'll let you go first. Dun. Reveal your LGBTQ plus I icon. <laughs> you picked me. How oh, kind of you. How cute. How kind. Are you look, look at you. You have a look. You have a look. You have a look, look you have, you, are you into furries? Because you have a little fur going on here. <laughs> it's cute, right? Oh, look at that. That's Isn't she lovely, everybody? Yeah. It's a Stonehenge. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Stonehenge. Oh. This vile queen. <laughs> Not this. That was actually, that was me in Portugal. Is that you in Portugal? Living my best life. I was drinking a beer in, on the, close to the... Superblock. I don't like Superblock. I love Superblock. It's so no. good. No. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. Look, look at those crafty queens. Look at those. Right. Oh, no. And I here's a slight in insight for you. Someone's actually glued their back on, so it won't be able to be removed and taken out. So yeah, upside down forever. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. It's cute. cute. Yeah, cute. She lives. Right. Um, so, yeah. Um, well, that's almost the end of the show for now. Don't forget you can find us at The Good TV on social media. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Do you want to swap? Yeah, go on then. Okay. Oh, look. I've actually done a really good job of that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Thank you.